Welcome back to Sibyl today. Today we will see what is shear wall, properties of shear wall and where we use shear wall and why. Shear wall. Shear wall is a vertical wall structure may serve both architectural as partition and structural to carry vertical and horizontal loading. Shear walls are mainly used in high rise buildings which are subjected to lateral loads. Lateral loads are horizontal loads which are acting parallel to the building. Most common type of lateral loads are wind load and earthquake load. Next, the purpose of providing shear wall is to resist lateral load due to wind and earthquake loading, to resist vertical loads such as dead load or self weight and live loads, and to resist uplift forces and shear force on building, to provide adequate stiffness to the building, to enhance the strength and stability of the building. These are the main purpose why we are providing shear wall. Next is the shear wall section. How the shear walls are provided? Shear walls may be provided in the form of planar but are often of L, R, T, R, I, R, U shaped sections are provided. The shape and plan position of shear wall influences the behavior of the structure. So the structure should be provided with right geometry and position of the shear wall that is mostly center of the building the shear walls are provided the shape and position of the shear wall is selected in such a way that it should help to increase the flexural stiffness of the building in turn it increases the behavior of the structure it means the strength and stability of the building depends on the shape and position of the shear walls so the shear walls are provided to better suit the planning and to increase their flexural stiffness. Stiffness. What is stiffness? Stiffness is an extent to which an object resists deformation in response to an applied load. Stiffness which is represented by S which is given as force upon deflection. This is why the shape of shear wall section is very important. Next where we provide shear wall and why? Shear walls are placed at the edge of the building or can be placed inside the building. The shear walls may be part of service core or a stairwell. It means shear walls are in the form of core wall or lift walls systems to accommodate vertical translation systems such as stairs or lift or they may serve as partition between accommodations. The shear walls are usually continuous down to the base to which they are rigidly attached to form like vertical cantilever members. Next, the single shear wall systems, walls that are connected by floor slabs or beams with negligible bending resistance. If the walls are connected by bending members, then it is termed as a coupled shear walls. Now, let us see the advantages of providing shear wall. Shear walls provides more strength, stability and stiffness to the building. By providing a shear wall, lateral sway of the building can be reduced. Shear walls are easy to construct and can be easily implemented at site. Next, minimum wall reinforcement is required in case of RCC shear wall. Shear walls can be constructed very fast and it is cost effective. Shear walls are thinner walls, hence they are lightweight. Next, shear walls are effective in minimizing earthquake damages in structural and non-structural elements. That's it for this video. Please subscribe to Civil Today and like and share the video. Thank you for watching.